a Twitter user <coughs> said that why are African parents so quick to notice when a child is pregnant or a child is on using some kind of substance abuse, but they never notice when the child is depressed. Depression is often overlooked in this part of the world, and our African parents cannot even bring themselves <coughs> to think that their precious ones are depressed. Now, what are your general thoughts on this issue of depression? Have you been depressed? And what happened when you were depressed, and how did you get out of it as a child we're talking about? When I read this topic, and it just reminded me as a child, because I felt that I grew up as a depressed child, and totally, completely depressed, because I was the only one at home. I know we have different stories. You are an only child with me. My brothers left at the, when I was two years old. I grew <coughs> up alone. I was talking to the chairs, the tables, <laughs> the clothes you hang on the, on the, on the wires. Wow. They were my friends. I would spank them. I would punish them. They were my friends. My mother sometimes used to look at me with like, I hope this girl would not become a loner. But, so I knew that I just had that frustration and nobody understood what I was going through. But when you hear depression today, especially with today's kids, how do you observe how do you know if your child is depressed and how do you, what do you think you can, what are the, what are the telltale signs that you can First look, look out for? An African child has no right to be depressed. Okay. As an African parent, you don't see your children as human beings. <laughs> They are supposed to take orders without complaining. You are frowning, repair that face before I slap you. What is wrong with you? You are overly happy. Uh -uh, why are you laughing like that? What's funny? You know, so as an African child, you grew up in a situation where you are not listened to, so to speak. Nobody wants to know how you really yeah. feel. They don't, they don't care. It's not like they are doing it because they don't love you. Mm. That's their way of showing love. But they don't really get in to understand the children. I remember growing up, and then um, for every sickness I had, every time I used to have this very painful menstrual uh, cycle. And every month, my father would be asking me, are you pregnant? Are you pregnant? And I'm like, Daddy, I'm, I'm doing my menstrual. I'm not pregnant. At some point, I got scared because I felt, ah, maybe there's a way they catch that pregnancy without somebody touching you. Because <laughs> the way he constantly, you know, remind, asked me, you. Are, you, yeah, are you pregnant? Are you pregnant? And then I realized that for an African parent, they use their children as, it's more like a status thing that I raised a good child, I raised a perfect child. And then when you bring pregnancy home, it, it, it dents that image for them. So they are more concerned that you're not pregnant than how you really feel. That's just being an African child. We all experience it one way or the other. But you agree with, with, with that because, um, go ahead. So in answering, the, the, the Twitter user brought it up basically because she feels like, you know, there are many womb watchers. They are looking at you, ah, you are looking pale. Bring your hand. Bring your nail. You your are pregnant. Eyes. Your eyes. Check so your eyes. Yeah. They, 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 they check your eyes. So it's, it's, the parents are so conscious of the shame pregnancy would bring upon them yep. that that's their main focus. And so they are not focusing on the fact that you're withdrawn, your grades are dropped, or you no longer have friends, or you're no longer speaking up when we're, when we're talking together. So that, that's what the, the Twitter here is drawing attention to that. Yeah. Why are we so focused on the shame of my child getting pregnant or my child becoming a drug addict as opposed to the shame of the fact that I have a child that probably commits suicide mm -hmm. because we are having that happen. So, um, because talk about, is that depression that might actually lead you to the pregnancy or yeah. the substance abuse? So, but that's what we don't get. That's uh, what probably um, we don't get. Mm. First of all, I want to say, I don't believe that parents pay attention to pregnancy because I had a friend when I was growing up mm. who was pregnant and <coughs> she was about seven months pregnant her family, nobody knew. Whoa. Uh -huh. The only time they knew was when the man came to ask for her hand in marriage, and the woman went ballistic. Hmm. Ballistic. That was a lost parent. Oh, that one not pay attention. Yeah, yeah. Lost parent. So, <laughs> seven months. She was seven months, and we all knew she was pregnant. Uh -huh. But the parents didn't know. And the parents didn't know. Mm -hmm. I think she that's, was seven months. The guy, they didn't find out till they came to ask for her hand in marriage. Mm -hmm. So that, so it's not all parents that look for. Having said that. We do not understand what depression is because yeah. we used to use, my sister and I used to use depression, I'm depressed, I'm depressed. The depression is actually an illness. Mm -hmm. And until we understand what depression is, mm. we will not even understand the symptoms. Mm. Depression is an illness that even the child, if you, you can beat the child for money tonight, it's not it going to come change out of the it, yeah. it has to go through a, a process, process treatment yeah. process. I think it's important at this stage, even though it's early, to say that. Even physicians, psychiatrists can miss the signs. Mm. Yes. So it's scary, but it's the reality of what depression is. Um, 
how can parents know? Parents must have a high index of suspicion. Mm. So first of all, parents must even be interested. Mm. Parents must be aware. You must know your child. Mm. Know them, you know, to the extent that you can adequately or effectively say that this is what my child would do. This is the pattern of my child. This mm. is, and that doesn't um, only come by observing, sometimes by asking questions. I remember when we were young, my dad said to my brother once, so what don't I know about you? So this is a father feeling like I know everything about you. And then my brother said, I pretend a lot. <laughs> <laughs> my, dad, my dad said, you almost died. <laughs> How can a boy that I feel like I, I've known all my life just tell me I pretend a lot? So it takes interest. It takes wanting mm -hmm. to know. It takes time. And you know, we, we often always say that to a, to a child, love is spelled time.